I'm talking all about the process I use to put together a 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. So if you're interested in finding out, then keep watching. and welcome back to the vlog. This is Susie from Thread Quarters. Thanks for joining me again today. First of all, I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that has entered the giveaway that was in my last vlog. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in my last vlog I am holding a giveaway. It's still open at the moment to win a set of this Ultimate Presser Foot Set, it's called, from Madame So. If you want to be in a chance for winning, it's open internationally. There's a link down below to that vlog. You have to go to that one and um, enter in the comments below. So if you're interested, then head on down to that. But first of all, watch this vlog. <laughs> So I'm sure all of you guys know that it is Me Made May and um, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link down below to um, Sozo's blog and um, she there's information there all about it. Um, it's a personal challenge, everyone's challenge is different but it's all about embracing your own Me Made wardrobe. So um, one of the ways that I'm planning on approaching it this year, as I mentioned in my last vlog, is doing a 10 by 10. And I thought it would be quite interesting to um, just take a closer look at my wardrobe and see how I go about trying to put together and choose my 10 pieces. Um, uh, one of the main things you have to do is think, look at your diary for the 10 days you've picked, see what events are going to be happening, see if you need anything for like a formal occasion, if you're maybe going out for drinks, if you know that you're going to be um, camping or you know if you're in work or running after a toddler or whatever your day-to-day -day might be, you have to take that into account obviously when you're picking your 10 pieces. The next thing you have to do is think about the weather, what's the weather going to be like for the next 10 days? It's pretty changeable with us at the moment, um, so that is something that makes it a bit tricky for me at, for this particular version. Um, also, you know, you can look at the forecast for the next 10 days, but it's never going to be 100% accurate. So you just got to bear that in mind as well when you're picking your pieces. And then I think the other thing you have to really do is sort of pick a colour story. Um, if you want your pieces to work the hardest, um, that they possibly can. You really want them all to be, um, to mix and match well together otherwise you know you maybe will end up with one piece that just does not meld well with the others that you've chosen so and, and it's just a wasted opportunity for um, different outfit combinations so that's something else to bear in mind. So I thought let's head on over to my wardrobe now and see what I can come up with because I haven't picked them yet so <laughs> let's see what I can come up with. Welcome to my wardrobe. This is pretty much it actually. I've got this hanging space and then I've got a couple of drawers down below. Um, is that it? And there's some stuff in the wash. Um, not a lot and there might be a few things up in the roof space that are like for proper winter and I pop them away. Um, but this is pretty much it actually. Um, so let's see what I can put together for this Me Made May. So um, one of the things that's calling out to me right now is this skirt here. Um, I made this last year, um, I have vlogged about it, but I haven't worn it yet because I finished it off sort of in autumn time and I just felt it was so springy. Um, that I have sort of been waiting for spring to come to be able to wear it. So that's a possibility. But in terms of what I would wear with it, yes. So I have this um, top here. Again, I made it, sort of finished it off at the same time. I had it in a finished UFOs um, vlog from last year. Um, and it's I've had it in a drawer over there actually because I finished it but actually I'm not happy with it. It's just a little bit too big for me and it's in a drawer to say I need to address that, I need to fix that. That might be something I do during the Me Made May. Um, we'll see, I've got so many things I want to get done. But yeah, that would be good. And maybe I will do that for um, later on in May. So I'll maybe put these back because I do need to, to take this in a little bit. 
Um, so yeah, so so that was an idea I was having, but so that's sort of part of the process. I'm like, no, let's maybe have this for later in May. I might do another 10 by 10, and um, I'll include that in that one instead. One of the things I wanna do with Me Made May is to not always live in um, jeans and a mandy, because that's pretty much my uniform these days. So I wanna include a um, skirt in this 10 by 10. So I'm not doing that one, and this, these are my skirts here. I don't have very many, actually. I love this one. Yeah, yeah, this one will be perfect. This is an denim Erin skirt, so over an Erin skirt. So I will just for now hang that up here. Yeah, definitely gonna do that. So let's think about what looks nice with this um, top. This one, I love this together. This is a Cali but it's a cropped one. It works well with the Erin because um, it's sort of right at my waist. I'll pop that up there for now because I do like that shirt, it's really great. Um, sticking with bottoms, actually, let's pick a bottom to go with that. I've got some in the drawer down here, which I know you can't see. Um, I don't really have very many um, black jeans and, oh, these. I do have these, these are sort of like a burgundy uh, skinny jeans, they're ready to wear, they're not um, me made, but I'm not all my wardrobe is me made, so I don't think my 10 by 10 should all be me made as well. Um, I'm going to try and make the majority of my pieces me made, but there's going to be um, ready to wear in there as well, and I'm totally fine with that. So yeah, I think this will be, <clears throat> these will be good ones to go with. So I'm gonna put that up there, but now that I've got that one up there, I'm looking at my Cali, and I know without even trying them on that this is not nice to wear with this because this is sort of more of a, a low rise. It's not totally low rise, but um, it's too, it's low enough that there's a bit of a too much of a chance of flashing my belly if I'm wearing this shirt with those trousers. So I'm gonna pop this shirt back in and we'll, we'll think about something else instead. So I've got my burgundy and my blue. So I'm thinking maybe that could be my color story for this 10 by 10. So thinking about that, I need some tops. Um, let's check out my Mandy's. That's in this section here. Is that, where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> So, um, and I'm wearing one right now. Um, so I've got, this is a cute one with pink and blue in it. Actually, that's really nice. I don't wear that very often. This one I really like, but it's it's a polyester mix and it makes, it's not, doesn't, I can't, br it doesn't let my body breathe <laughs> very well. I was trying to find a nice way of saying that, but that would actually go, it's got the pink that looks nice with the burgundy and the blue stripe in it. Maybe I should give it another chance and see whether I like wearing it or not because that's part of the Me Made, Pro, Me Made May ethos is to sort of use, use things that you don't wear very often. The other option is, no, that's gray and red. That wouldn't look good. This one, this blue one here would be nice too, wouldn't it? Um, oh, I just love it. Right, for this, for this 10 by 10, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I know that looks really nice. Um, it's got a high-low hem. I'm gonna be doing that in a tutorial coming up soon about how to do the high-low and the split hem on the Mandy. So watch out for that. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna put that one up, I think. Maybe I will bring this one out for um, another 10 by 10 or just later, later on in the month. Um, so I've got a nice blue one there. Let's see, oh, this top here. This is one of my gables with a lovely floral design. That's very pink, but that looks really nice with my burgundy jeans, and it would look really cute with the Erin skirt too. So let's pop that one up there as well. Definitely that. Um, so let me see, I've got two tops and two bottoms right now. So I'm only on four and I can have 10. I'm probably gonna leave myself two spots for shoes. Um, I'm thinking like a casual, like a casual shoe and a slightly dressier shoe maybe. 
I'm not sure, I haven't looked at them yet, but that's sort of what I was thinking. That would sort of cover most bases. So, uh, let me see. What would look nice? I'm, I'm thinking of the blue and the pink theme here. So there's lots of things that are, oh, this one. This one could be good. That's um, my fun Beatrix top with like swimmers on it. And it's got the blue background, but some of the swimmers have like a pink um, swimming costume on. So that would look nice with my burgundy jeans. And it's gonna look, I think, I've never worn this with my Erin skirt. So that could be a new combo for me if I include that. So now if I include this, that's three tops now and two bottoms. That's pretty good, but um, as I said at the beginning, I need to um, be thinking about the weather, and those are all well and good, but the average is probably going to be about 13 degrees Celsius, so um, it's going to be a bit chilly, so I'm going to need something to layer with these pieces. Um, cardigan is always my go-to, so let's look at my cardigans. They, they hang up here. Um, this bright pink one could be good but it's the wrong shade for that, um, those swimmers, so I'm not going to go with that one. Black, no. Black stripes, no. This pale blue could be nice, actually. Yeah, that's a possibility. And let me see. Voila! Okay, so that cardigan, that could be really nice, actually. Let's pop that one up. Hmm. Right, grey, grey, but grey's a bit boring, isn't it? And then, oh, I've got navy, let's see. A navy, this is a long cardigan. I do love the look of a long line cardigan. It's not full length, but it is longer than that. Let me see. You probably can't see much of what I'm doing here, but yes. That looks really good, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. Um... Yeah, so I'm deciding between these two because I don't need two cardigans. I think that would take up too much space. Valuable um, slots in my 10 by 10. So um, this is sort of one of the processes. It's just making sure everything sort of would work together, essentially. I think that this cardigan and that, I think that's a bit too samey. And I'm thinking that I like the contrast of the darker navy with this. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I just, I like the look of the long line better. This one has sort of like a, a hem band around here that gives it a little bit of a gathering at the bottom I'm not so keen on. All these cardigans are ready to wear, by the way. So yeah, let's go long line and we'll put the short one back for now. Okay, so how many pieces have I got now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six, okay, six. And I can go up to eight because of um, two, two places for shoes. I'm not including coats in my um, 10 by 10 because I just find that too restrictive. So shoes and day-to-day um, -day clothes. Um, so I think I'm gonna need like something a bit warmer if it does get chilly. I need like a jumper of some kind. So I don't really have jumpers hanging up here. Um, oh, I've got this one. This one could work. This is a navy, it's just ready to wear. Um, that is a very nice one. Uh, but I would like it to be a, a me made actually to be honest um, so I've got some jumpers down here uh, most of them you can't see it sorry but most of them are greys and blacks oh I have this one yeah this one maybe this is my hemlock hack with the cowl neck. It's in sort of a, a medium weight um, knit fabric so it's a good sort of transitional jumper and it's the blue. Yeah this one would be good. Okay definitely this. So let me check how many pieces I've definitely got here. 
see if I can count properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, okay, yeah. I think a dress would be good to include in a 10 by 10, um, just to mix it up, have a different silhouette, something a bit different going on. Um, I've got a few here, these are a bit dressy. This is this is, would be nice, you can sort of see it's blue, but I don't see how it would fit in with those ones, to be honest. Um, and it's a bit thin, I think I'd be a bit cold in that. Those are dressy. I love this one, it's inside out, sorry, but it's stripey here, black and white stripes and red. I do really wanna wear this because I haven't worn it in ages and it's starting to come to the season where I like wearing it. But it's just not gonna go with my color story. So maybe for a different 10 by 10, maybe I'll do like a red, white and black color story for one of my 10 by 10s. Mm, so, okay, I have to remember that one. Um, another dress that I love wearing, but it's black and white, so I'm not going for that one. Oh, this one. This is a ready to wear from Next, um, a shirt dress, it's not buttoned at the moment. It's short sleeves, it's linen, um, that sort of length, but it's that burgundy colour, so um, it would fit in well, I think. And you know, maybe I can wear it open as like a long jacket, or um, just wear it as a dress in itself. So I think I'll include this one. And that brings me up to my eight, and then I need shoes. Okay, so I'm coming in a bit close here. Hope it's not too scary. <laughs> Um, so yes, I'm thinking with my blue and pink color scheme that a brown shoe would be nice. Um, and as I said, I want like a casual shoe and a dressier shoe. And when I say dressier, I would like a bit of a heel, but I don't really wear heels much. So it has to be just a very small heel, a boot of some kind. I don't have very many shoes, um, but I did recently buy a couple in the sale. So We'll see. I have some in the bottom of my wardrobe. I know some people don't like keeping their shoes in their, with their clothes. It's down below, far away from the shoes, from the clothes, just saying. But I am buying a shoe storage maybe next week. So hopefully I'll be able to shift them out of here. This is just a temporary measure for now. So anyway. So, um, <sighs> I mean, I absolutely adore those, but I don't think, I think the patterns that I've picked, it's just going to clash a bit too much. So I don't think that's appropriate. I think it's maybe going to be too warm for um, large boots. This would be ideal. That kind of heel there. And that's just a perfect, but it's black. So I wish that was in brown. So maybe that's something to take away from um, this 10 by 10 is a brown version of those would be nice. Oh, I have these. I haven't worn these yet. These were one of the ones I picked up in the sale. They're from Next. So you can see they're in like pristine condition. <laughs> and I have been struggling with um, finding ways of wearing this. So this could be a good option. And I love the color. I think it would go really well. I mean, it's not exactly dressy, but it's certainly dressier than my normal, um, my normal footwear. So yeah, I think I might go for them. Yeah, they'd be good. And then I am, sorry, they're a bit grubby looking. <laughs> I mean, they're white trainers, so that's going to happen. But yeah, I think these would be perfect. The white will just look nice and casual. They'll take, um, the skirt and make it a bit more, less dressy. Not that it is that dressy, um... But that's going to go with literally everything. So they're good, a good um, basic.
is my chosen 10 by 10. Um, I am going to also film, if I can, it's also, it is a bit, it is a bit tricky, but I'm going to try and film um, my outfits every day and then I will do like a little lookbook and um, a chatty review and reflections of the 10 by 10 and, and um, what I, how I thought it went. And that'll be up in probably a couple of weeks or something like that once I get get all that um, footage and edit it and whatnot. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Are you joining in with me, Maid May? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to be doing a 10 by 10? Um, again, let me know. Have you ever done one before? Do you find it easy? Do you find it difficult? Let's just have a chat in the comments. <laughs> I love hearing from you guys and I love all the chat that we have after I post up my videos. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, as always, please do subscribe and um, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of when I upload a new video. I've got tutorials coming up. I know that's a requested one from all you guys and so alongs as well. I'm going to be doing all of that. I'm really kicking off and getting um, the most out of this vlog that I possibly can and whatever you want I want to give it to you so anyway give me a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed the video and I will see you all again next time bye, bye.